Action is on Phil Ivy here. The man who is $270,000 behind. He's going to limp in here. He's got the snowman. Cool. Also in his Tony G. And he's got Queen 10 offsuit. Cool. That's going to bring Letterer in. With a 5 3 of hearts. Bit more creative. Allen's in as well. Pocket fours for Allen. No way. Wow, six handed. <laughs> Few flops here that could get some people involved. Six four deuce. How about that flop for Howard Letterer? He has flopped the nuts, and we're going to get a monster here. Alan Cunningham Three has thousand. a set of fours. Howard Letterer has flopped the nuts. And let's not forget, Phil Ivey's got the overpair with the eights. Oh, this is going to be a doozy. Now we're trying to work out how to play this hand. Alan's sitting there with a the set thinking he's in great shape. Howard's going to put in a small raise by the looks of things. And I like the raise because you don't want to let a jack or a queen come off and kill your action from Phil Ivey. Obviously, he doesn't know that Alan Cunningham has a set behind him. And you wouldn't normally think somebody Nine would times. bump it up, raise it up with the nuts. It's going to be very hard for Alan to give 5-3 uh, in a hand like uh, the hand of uh, Howard Lederer. Now this was an unraised pot, so anybody could have anything. You never want to go broke in an unraised pot. Cool. And you get a quick call from Alan Cunningham. Pass. Andy Block's gone. Let's see how Phil Ivey plays this here. Chris Ferguson, ace eight, offsuit. Not too relevant right now, apart from the eight in his hand, one of Ivy's outs. No, Not that Ivy <coughs> actually has a direct out, but it'll be a card that Ivy will be hoping to hit. Ferguson with a pregnant pause. Oh, and we've got a monster here. Look at this, a set of fours for Cunningham. A straight for Letterer, and Ivy with the overpair. I'm not sure what Ferguson is wasting our time for. Maybe he's trying to think of a, a creative play. I really wish I knew what was going through Chris Ferguson's mind. If he puts in 25,000 right now, we're going to know. Does Chris Ferguson know he has cards? No, see, I, I, I don't think Chris Ferguson knew he had cards. There you go. He's just scared half the table, thinking he's going to be coming for a big bet. And Phil Ivey lays down his hand there. Very good play from Phil. Yeah, great lay down from Phil. And this is heads up here. We've got a set for Alan Cunningham and a straight for Howard Letterer. Pot is 25,000. The Queen of Spades changes nothing. It looks the pot, though. Someone just pulled the moneymaker. Howard to act. He has the stone cold nuts right now. Moneymaker did that the year he won, like earlier. He was just sitting there for a while. That's not my first time. I guess it's the mark of a champion. <laughs> Obviously, a couple of hands out there that Alan Cunningham cannot beat. He can't beat a set of sixes and he can't beat the three five. Everything else, he's got. Can't imagine Howard Letterer has queens here. Not the way the hand played out pre flop. Pot is 25,400. And the professor trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, hypnotize them. Forget that they even have cards. Phil Avi, obviously a curious observer. He threw away his eights. Alan watching. Check. As Howard plays with his chips. But he's checked, Howard. Looks Howard like he's checked. Yeah, he's going to set the trap here. It's not a bad play. If he gives Alan a set. Did an awful lot of acting there. And then, of course, the check. 
And Alan Cunningham thinking, what do I do here? I'll tell you, if Alan Cunningham takes the card here, I won't believe that he can't see through the cards. And look at that, he checks. It's like he has a seventh sense. Wow. And look and at that. And the river pairs the board. It's a deuce on the river. That's going to kill Letterer. Cunningham has the full house hair now. Four's full of deuces. And Letterer's hand is complete rubbish. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Letterer's trying to get tricky on the turn. And he burns himself. Ten thousand's the bet. It's a small bet. Ten thousand into a twenty-five thousand dollar pot. I don't see how Letterer folds this. I, th I think he's going to call, but I don't think he likes it. The only hand he can really give Alan on here is a set. At the end of the day, it was six-handed to the flop. Alan's been pretty tight all day, but he feels like he has to make the call. He does. Well, this could have been a very big pot. They both played it very cagey. And that pot is going to go to Alan Cunningham. He lost an awful lot of his chips early on in this cash game when he flopped a set of fours. He's got a little bit of it back this time. Very, very cagey play from both players. What a hand there. Chris Ferguson forgetting he had cards. Phil Ivey throwing away the overpair. And we get the straight against the set. Unbelievable action here.